Seems like the same old fandom. Doing the same old fandom things. It's Tuesday. It's tea time. And today I'm ranting about Warhammer 40k. They drag you in with the promise of a hobby, right? Cool models, war game, lots of lore. It's not just one hobby. It's a lie. It is an absolute lie. You think that you're getting into a cohesive fandom and yeah, there's all these different factions and maybe each faction has their own little fandom, but like you think that you're getting into a community, a community that, you know, holds the same values, but no, that's a lie. Because Warhammer 40k is not one hobby. It's not. It's like seven different hobbies and they don't, I mean, they can mesh, but more in reality, no. In reality, the people who are in one part of the hobby, they like that part of the hobby and like, okay, so, so obviously there's dudes that you play an army game with, right? That's, that's the hobby. No, 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 no. Cause, um, those dudes, those dudes, that's one hobby, collecting those dudes in their boxes and putting them on a shelf and then not doing anything with them. That's one hobby. That is, that is one whole ass hobby right there, collecting the miniatures. Then you have assembling the miniatures. That's a whole hobby. It's like less vocal than maybe the rest of the hobbies attached to Warhammer 40K, but that's a whole hobby. And some of the model kits some of the games that are made for the model kits are geared toward like different levels of that hobby, right? Necromunda. I, I bought Necromunda. I was really excited about those models. I did not expect the complexity with those model builds that I got. I think I finished putting two of the chicks together. Yeah. Um, building the models is its own own hobby and it's okay if you don't like building the models. I, I give you permission not to like that. I don't particularly like that. It's it's not like Lego, okay? Especially when you've got like a pointy little Necron duder and you have to like hold both of his shoulders and his wrist and glue three points together all at once to make sure that... Now, who, whose idea was that? Really, I want to talk to that person. That's not cool. Why do you, why are you gonna make us do that? Bruh. Least favorite part of all of the 40K hobbies is like that three point glue up. Uh-uh, I don't wanna do that no more. And then we get to painting. Painting is a very vocal part of these sub communities of Warhammer 40K. There's, there's a whole economy centered around painting. Boy, let me tell you, there are so many products that you can get, so many different paint lines, different thicknesses of paint that you can get, different painting systems. They all have their own acrylic base. There was a period of time a couple of years ago where like oil washes were huge. I don't know if they are. I've stepped away. I nerve pain in my shoulder from the position uh, that I hold when I'm painting for camera made me unable to feel my fingers. So I stopped painting on Twitch and I kind of just like everything from that community took a back seat. So things may have changed. I've been out of it for a little bit, but I, I've seen some things recently on the book of faces that make me think that not much has changed. Seems like the same old fandom. Doing the same old fandom things. So after you get your models painted, if that's your hobby, you then get to play with your models and that's a whole other hobby. There's like a main game that you can play, but there's like a bunch of different little games. There's like a, there's a car game and there's like a plane game that you can play and there's Kill Team, and there's Necromunda, and then there's the, um, do they have like a Shadespire version for 40k? And, and, and like, I'm not even getting into the fantasy because I don't know if the fantasy version mirrors this, but 40k in specific, like there's, 
there are so many offshoots. It's like a, it's like a birch clone, right? You know how birch trees, I think it's birch trees, they, um, they're all the same tree in the, like the same place. They all grow up and they have this interconnected root system and it's like a billion trees, but they're all the same tree and it's called a clone because they're all the same tree. They're all the same organism. That's what this is. 40K, <laughs> Warhammer 40K is a birch tree. Wow. Talk about things taken out of context. Sounded really weird. So Warhammer 40K is a birch tree. And you've got like casual gaming and then you've got like, this is a sport tournament gaming. I have friends that do both. I think I have a friend of a friend at the very least who has been like on the U.S. Warhammer team. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. I put about as much stock in Warhammer tournaments as I do in football games. My sport of choice is figure skating. But, but yeah, so like there's a whole sport and there's like I have friends who meet up every week and play and uh, I... <sighs> like you know how there's like these abilities where you roll ones and then if your commander thing is like nearby you can re-roll all the ones well I don't roll ones I roll twos and I think there's been like one or maybe two times in the history of me playing 40k games that I've gotten a command point reroll and not rolled the exact same thing that I was trying to reroll. And everybody's like, oh, Hana, you, you can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Would you like to play 40K with me? Would you like to experience the luck of the dice? I keep thinking that maybe I should just like take a vacation up to mini wargaming and be like, hey, you want a really funny video? <laughs> Let's play. I don't win games. I paint models. I'm there to make the models look pretty. That's what I do. I can also write lore. <laughs> There's another 40k hobby. The lore. I'm just gonna, if you don't want an argument, you should not try to get into 40k lore because that's the hobby, right? The lore the lore is not the hobby. You think that the lore is the hobby. The real hobby is arguing about the lore. The real hobby is getting on the internet and having discussions. And if you're real, real lucky, those discussions will end up in curse words and threats. In before, a bunch of the lore bros come into my comments and tell me that I'm lying and that never happened. It's almost as if I can see the future, but it's really the past that I'm looking at. Um, yeah, so the lore is a completely separate hobby than playing the game. I have had arguments with people about the viability of a sister's army. This was, um, I think before the Plastic Sisters dropped, about the viability of building an all-female army. Because back in that rule set, you basically had to have priests and you had to have Arcoflagellants. If you didn't have those, your army wasn't really viable. And GW doesn't make any female priest models and none of the Arcoflagellants are female models. I'm just gonna warn you, the topic of femininity in 40k is a powder keg, okay? Don't expect to talk anywhere online about women and 40k in the same breath and not get some kind of pushback. And I don't know why. I don't understand it. Um, because girls like 40k and like we're allowed to be here we are allowed to play we're allowed to paint our models pink if we want um and like it's supposed to say that everybody is gatekeeping the supporters are very supportive and the naysayers are very loud the pendulum swings very wildly there's very little in between okay the spectrum is wide and the graph goes whoop, whoop, whoop. 
Ooh, it's a thing, okay? <laughs> there was even like this huge uproar when Games Workshop put out this statement that um, if you are, I can't remember the wording in the statement, but it basically said, if you are gonna tell other people that they can't play here, we don't want you here. We accept everybody except the people who are not accepting of everybody. That was basically the gist of the statement. And oh my gosh, you would have thought that they had set fire to the, everything the way some people acted. Every edition that comes out, there's somebody who's like, I'm gonna burn my army. It's all, it's all very reactive. Like recently, they, Games Workshop canonified female Astartes and heads explode. The <laughs> Lord Rose say it doesn't make sense. And there's like this comic that somebody did that um, there's a female custodian who like, brainwashes people and it's like there have always been female custodians and like a zinch eye opens up on her cheek or something. It's a very well drawn comic. Uh, I don't think that it's helpful to the cause at all. It makes me sad because uh, we can't just accept <laughs> girls in anything. Uh, they have to be evil. Now I'm not against evil girls. Evil girls are hot. Right? I mean, everybody loves an evil girl. <sighs> They're smoking. But like, can we can we have some that are not evil too? Just, just for funsies? It doesn't make sense in the lore. There hasn't been any books about female custodies. I mean, there might be now. Books, that's another hobby. Wait, wait, so we did collecting the models, building the models, painting the models, playing with the models, the lore, arguing over the lore and the books. The books ostensibly are where like all the lore comes from and there's like collectible versions of a lot of the books and there's just a limit. Don't, don't get twisted. There are different different books. There's like 30k the Horus Heresy where all of all of the the true lore comes from and then there's the 40k which builds upon all of the true lore from the Horus Heresy um, and the Horus Heresy if you are not familiar I hate it when people say that if you're not familiar if you didn't know the Horus Heresy is pivotal to the evilification of half of the space marines okay here's a little bit of a primer in 40k it's the year 40,000 and everything sucks and no one's a good guy. Everybody's a bad guy who thinks that they're a good guy. And you've got space marines, half of which are good, but they think that they're good, but they're mm, very rigid and will kill civilians for huh, no reason. Um, and then there are the evil space marines who are corrupted by the chaos gods. And then there are, um, there are aliens from out there who are coming to devour everything. And then there are dead guys from a billion years ago that are waking up to deadify everything. And there are space elves. There are two different, three different, four different kinds of space elves. There's the good space elves and the bad space elves and the, the crazy space elves. And then the dead worshiping space elves. Um, and then there are the, the living fungus dudes who have magic based on belief uh who kind of like uh ruin everything that they touch they infect planets down to their core and so everything is fucked oh and then there's the tau which you know they say they're for the greater good but they're like blue fish people who will kill a whole planet to save five of their planets that's the greater good not the good just unless you were confused about that each there's there's four chaos gods and they each have their own dudes um, most of which are corrupted space marines, but there's also demons. Um, and the, the leader of the humans is, um, he's basically a comatose, almost corpse psychic who has perpetrated terrible war crimes for the entire history of humanity. He's a vegetable because his son, Horus, had a heresy and took half of his dude bros and went off to chaos. So everything sucks and everybody's trying to kill everybody else. 
that's the setting. Yeah. So 40k is a lot of hobbies and there's a lot of information and um, people will argue with you about every single aspect. Every single aspect of every little bit of it. So if that's your thing, welcome. Everything's on fire. Enjoy. You don't have to engage in any of that if you don't want to. If you don't want to engage in that, you should stay off Reddit <laughs> and you should stay off Facebook and you should just cultivate a, a nice little local group and hang out with your friends and have good fun times. So this is not a 40k channel. It's not a miniature painting channel. This is this is my channel and my tagline is craft a life worth living and I do a whole bunch of things. There will be book binding and I'm gonna make a scissors of battle cosplay sometime, do some foam armor, leather working, you know basically just anything that I like. And if that is your vibe you are welcome to be here but if you are only here for the 40k or the miniature painting and you don't want to like hang out for any of the other stuff please do not subscribe please do not subscribe this video was for you all of the rest of the videos are probably not going to be for you i have playlists you can look at those if you are here to the end I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for every second of your attention you give me. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm on a quest to get YouTube memberships because I shut down the Patreon because Patreon was being dumb. I have plans, guys. I don't want to talk about the plans because then, then the plans won't come to fruition, just like Mojo Jojo. <sighs> Thank you for sticking with me through the insanity and all of the things. I'm gonna stop being manic for a while now and go have some water and take care of your friends. Please do your best to take care of mine. Drink something hydrating and and eat something delicious and nutritious and get up and move around and unhunch your shoulders because you look like a shrimp. I love you and I'll see you next month.